Hey everybody, John Craig here with Performance Plus Tennis. Welcome to today's video where we're going to break down the great serve of Serena Williams and show you the reasons why she's had the greatest serve in women's history. Here we can take a look and just watch her knock off four consecutive aces versus Ron Wanska at Wimbledon just a few years ago. Just bang, finding those spots, beautiful serve, just impossible to play against. So let's take a look here and let's look at all the key things that she does that you can implement into your serve to make it better right away. Okay, now she has completed her routine here and she has shifted her weight to her back foot. And we can just look here and clearly see that her weight is distinctly on the back foot and it will stay there while she's in, entering into her toss. Look at that back heel stay down and look at her just lifting that. And this is a key part right here. For those of you who have always heard this myth down together, up together, that's really old school. I mean, look where her racket is when she is releasing the ball. So the ball's about to leave her hand. Look where her racket is. So this is becoming more and more common in the modern serve, where we're really leading with the tossing arm and using that to really get us up into a good, strong trophy position, place the ball higher, load the legs more, and drive up into the ball more than ever. And this is what we're seeing. So when you're entering into your, into your serve, really think about leading with a non-dominant hand, the tossing arm first, and letting the racket lag behind. Of course, once the ball is gone, the left arm continues to rise, helps guide her into the trophy position. And here she comes. And of course, she's a pinpoint server. So she brings that foot up and she gets into a great loaded position right here. She's got a very, very strong load. Weight is probably pretty close to equal on both legs. A couple things are a little unusual, unique, I would say, is how she has this distinctive, really front forward hip. It's a little more than we're seeing in the modern serve that hip forward, but that's her style. And uh, she was able to really reverse that, that position and like a bow and a bow and arrow and really use that to propel her up into the ball. Uh, she's got a very good shoulder angle here to, to uh, get into her trophy position. But one thing that comes to mind here that I see is she's got this low elbow. And if I were training her from the very beginning when she was younger, I would definitely have had that elbow up here. But at this point in time, she's played so much and she's really perfected her movement, it probably doesn't hinder her, even though for many players it would make her swing a little less efficient, a little less powerful. I probably wouldn't touch that. Okay, I might even want her to have a little bit more of a stretch in the hand still, really, really get a good, strong position there with the left arm, but it's okay. So moving ahead here, watch how her left arm pulls away and starts to draw her shoulders around. Look how the shoulders are drawing around and look how the legs are starting to push up. So here we go. Left arm's pulling away and look where that left hand is when the racket reaches the bottom. And again, we hear a lot of coaches say, keep that arm up, keep that tossing arm up. But yes, you have to get the tossing arm up, but you also have to pull it away to be the catalyst that creates this tremendous shoulder over shoulder action. So this shoulder action is really the key to her power. So if we just mark where her right shoulder is now, and then we look at where her right shoulder is at contact, look at how much action and range she creates in the body to get to contact. What a difference in those two positions. And those, those rotations or that much range of motion is, is a combination of leg drive. Look at where her hips are. Look how she's down here. We can make a little mark here at her hip. And look again where her hip is on contact. She's really driving up and that shoulder's getting up nice and high. The left hand's holding the balance. So she's got a tremendous action here that's really a combination of well-timed leg drive and the left hand pulling away. So sequencing these movements is critical to optimizing your power on the serve. Okay. So next up, let's watch the racket. I love this, I love this picture because we really can't see the contact but look at right now, her strings that are going to actually contact the ball are facing the stands on the other side. There they are, they're facing the stands. And then when we get past there and we get to here, look how the strings are now facing us. So she got 180 degrees of rotation in the racket into and through contact. And that's the last link in the chain where, chain where that really releases and the shoulder turns the racket through and creates tremendous racket head speed. And Serena had a great shoulder rotation, great long axis pronation through the shoulder, which really generated the power. And look how she's just flying up in the air here. She's up, she's flying up in the air, 
holding the balance, coming through, and then landing on that left leg. And then from here, she'll just spring off the left leg and get ready for the return. So there's so many great things she does here. We can go back again and just look at how much shoulder rotation she gets. I just love that. I love this movement here where we're looking at how much action she brings to the ball. And this is really the key, how you, you sequence the leg drive with a, with a non-dominant arm to get that rotation in. Look at that shoulder leading and the racket lagging, and then finally catching up and pronating through. Wow, what a serve. So let's move ahead here, and I'm going to give you a bonus tip. This, everyone can do this really going to help. This Serena was so good at. I really loved her tempo on the serve. She had a beautiful tempo, but watch here. She's finishing up her routine. She's looking down at the ball. Once she picks the ball up, watch where her eyes go. They shift back out to the court. So she's getting a new perspective or a renewed perspective on the court, perhaps where she wants to go. She's looking to see that her opponent's ready. And now watch where her eyes shift when the tossing arm starts to rise. Right up to the point where she wants to see the tossing arm rise to release the ball. So she's waiting right there, right there for the ball to get to that spot, and then she'll release it when she sees it gets there. Once it gets there, it releases out of the hand, the left hand continues to rise, and she gets to that beautiful, strong trophy position. And I love this image too, because the left arm is up, and here comes the racket, but in reality, the racket was definitely lagging behind. So this is a great, great tip for everybody to be working on. Look for the ball at eye level, or the level at which you're gonna release the ball, and that's gonna help give your, your toss much, much more consistency. So overall, I would say that she does so many more things really well in her serve than not. And that's the key to how, why she's had such a tremendous serve and really the key to having a great career is just how great her serve was. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. Please give us a like. Leave your comments down below. I'll certainly reply to them. Subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. Stay tuned. We have so much more coming here at Performance Plus Tennis. Thank you.